Alrighty, in between recordings, I went to Lookout Landing and slept. And used my uh, points to get another wheel of stamina. So I'm maxed out on stamina. Wow, look how dirty this statue is. Let's clean it off. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we've used up all the splash fruit. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is alright. Now, if we could only do something about that statue... Hmm? You there, you traveler? I'm sorry, I didn't notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Sora's domain is in troubled times. Due to the sludge falling from the sky, things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this precious statue remains covered in... We were discussing how we needed to wash it away, but what is this? Whoa. The sludge! So you managed to wash it away. The statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It's very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. That's right, the beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. It's simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. Say you have a similar stature. To the Hylian hero, similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you're also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could it be? You're Link, the swordsman of legend? <clears throat> please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh, uh, please accept my apology. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I've heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I'm Prince Sidon's... Oh, uh, forgive me. I'm your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yona. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. I had heard that you were missing, along with Princess Zelda, if I may ask. What brings you here? think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you're traveling to the kingdom to investigate. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you here. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. I ask that you please go meet with Sidon. I'm certain he'd be delighted to see you. He can be found at Mipha Court, at the peak of Plamus Mountain. Lady Yona, it's time. I fear we must be going now. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Ah, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I am determined to be of assistance to you as best as I can, Sir Link. Oops. Huh? 
Is it really you? Huh. It's good to see you, my friend. Link, it's been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired. No. To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle, and afterwards, he mysteriously awoke on a sky island. The sky? Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? My apologies. I've actually been left wondering if those floating skies could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I have tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I'm not at liberty to leave this spot at present, as <laughs> at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. You see, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of manipulation to separate the sludge out of the water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Say, Link, does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian. Giotto. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It's quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information at present. You should be able to find him at Toto Lake. By the way, I'm truly happy to see you again, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Before I do that... I need to go get a couple of things sorted. Oh, I guess just maybe like the one thing I need to get sorted. The ancient arowana. Oops. Oh boy, I only have four arrows. I am going to need to find some more. I forgot about some of the steps that are required for this quest, I didn't have to come back here right now because I'll need to come back again. This sludge is really quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patience recovers soon. Uh. Lady Jonas, or Link is here at last. Oh, you came. How fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about the Zora armor. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require one more thing, an ancient arowana. I need the scales from that fish, but we haven't seen them around here lately, and I'm not sure where they can be found. Dento the blacksmith may know about how to get one. If you find one, please bring it to me, and I can repair your precious armor. I'm certain it'll prove useful. Please do not forget about my request. Oh, could it be you've brought me an ancient arowana? Yep, here you go. Whoa. With this, I can finally finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait here a short moment. Mm. I'm so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Your armor is as good as new. Please take this along with my well wishes. The Zora armor allows you to climb waterfalls, as you well know. <coughs> Jeez, sorry. Of course, it won't help you climbing the waters that have been tainted with sludge. 
However, with your great skill, I'm sure you'll find a way up. Let's just plug this slate into the wall. Such a dignified presentation. Yes, I see the writing resembles waves upon a stormy sea. How fascinating. The ancient stone slate must have been written on by our Zora ancestors. How heartbreaking. I cannot read it in this state. Hmm? Ah, Link. My apologies. I was deep in thought. I've made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. But still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. Uh, but it's broken. Hey man, if you take a look, I, I actually fixed it. You fixed it? Well now, look at that gloriously repaired stone slate. You've helped immensely, Link. I can't thank you enough. Aha! The time has come. This historic text is mine for reading. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through the droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall receive a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zara to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. One difficulty has been overcome and yet another appears in its wake. The mark of the king. Perhaps this is prudent to King Dorothan and you should consult with him. Will do. He is right here. I guess it's just faster to go here. He's missing from Zora's domain, and there's some kids in the throne room. So if you sneak up on the kids, you can listen in on the conversation, and they tell you that he's uh, over this direction somewhere. I forget exactly how they word it, but, you know, it's like, oh, he's uh, near the waterfall by the lake. Something like that. Here he is. My liege. Ha! Ah, who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. How'd you even find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever loyal Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what's going on. Dorfin, king of the Zora. Hello, Link. It's been some time since we last spoke. I'd received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well, to think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? 
You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Calm hmm. yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda. As well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Princess Zelda just after the castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere, sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Uza and I left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorvin valiantly vanquished the threat, however. He was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. The disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Zelda may well be the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Giotto, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if there's any progress. <laughs> so you've already spoken with him. Hmm. Say that the Mark of the King is mentioned. Hmm. I do not know of it. The Mark of the King refers to a Zora King's scale. One of my scales, in other words. Hmm. I've heard it called by that name in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. If the scale is useful to you, by all means, take a few. No need for restraint. You run out. Turn for more. <laughs> After all that transpired and much reflection, I've come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have a lot of mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King onto Sidon. King Dorothy. In any case, that is a matter for another day after the chaos running the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there's no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. I will after I use your scale to solve the riddle. Turns out I don't actually have to go back into Zora's domain. You just go straight to the king. You don't even need to get the hint for his location. Who would have thought? All right, but that does mean I will have to temporarily take off my armor and use the Zora armor. Let's take a look at the damage. Oh yeah, that is uh, looking pretty nerdy now. Gonna fly straight into it. Sludge.
Clues to the sky complete. Okay, now I just want to check the underbelly of this thing, because I think there might be something under here. Lady Yona, it's far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there's something I need to speak with you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh, hey, Link. Oh. What's happened? Did you figure something out? Oh. You solved an ancient stone slate's riddle and a pillar of light appeared. If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see, my dear Sidon. I think you should go with Link to investigate the Pillar of Light, as I was just about to say. For a long time I've been concerned that you're holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected, but my love, if you and Link join your powers, I'm sure certain you'll be able to overcome jeez, overcome whatever danger awaits. That is undoubtedly true. However, whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating? I it's simply that. Huh? Oh, oh. The sludge monster. Sludge lake like. The sludge lake. The monster is covered in sludge. Is it the beast that harmed father? We can take care of the water for a little while. Don't fret about the domain. You're right as ever. It's up to you, my lady. Link, please. I must ask that you fight at my side once more. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It's a mighty opponent. We must not falter. Call out to me. And I can thusly shield you from our foe. And shoot forth a water attack. Yeah, sure. Will do. Will do. That was just unlucky. Okay, hurry it up, Sidon. Give me your power, pal. Buddy is just running away. Like, come on, man. Let me get close. Come on. Okay, that was nice and easy. <laughs> you did it! Take that foul beast! Everyone alright? We're unharmed. Thank goodness, Lady Yona. Something happened to you. I <clears throat> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dear Sidon. Your friend needs your help to get to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Oh. Of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will be on our own for long. We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. But, Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not, you are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... 
Enough is enough. You're not acting like yourself. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always do. Yes, yes. It's all right, I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. There it is, clear as day. I was giving in to the fear of once more losing someone I love. I... Aha! You're right, Yona. I'll not give in to fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. Seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his poor, precious sister, Mipha. My poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he's overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last, the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. <laughs> Holy smokes, bro. Yep. I feel like I've been reading it for 80 minutes or something. These guys, they have a lot to say. Takes so much longer when you're actually reading it out loud. I was just reading the text my first time through, just like mashing A as fast as the text boxes appear. Once we get going here, this should actually be pretty quick. Hey, side on. So this is the clue for reaching this guy. What was that? Never mind, now's not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? I have an idea. Curious if I can skip some uh, some of the segment here. I just want to see if this has arrows. Zora sword. Pretty good, but it's not what I wanted. Okay. Hey. 
Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, that is pretty high to climb, eh? But, hear me out. What if I use my sticky elixir? Or a bit of slip resistance. Gain some initial height here. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh no. It was there. I had it. No. No. Oh, my idea. I want to do this. Surely it's possible. Oh, I was about to jump there. Can you get close enough? Darn it. The moment it appears, it just disappears. Maybe the corner. The corner. I could climb the corner. Oh, careful, Link. If I'd just done it the normal way, I'd probably almost already be done. <laughs> but I'm curious. Huge. A waterfall? A waterfall descended from the sky. Link, what happened? Is that you're doing? 
So you activated a mysterious device in the ruins and a waterfall appeared. I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no, waterfall is no different than a path. Hmm. A watery bridge. Yes, this is it. You shall ascend into the sky. sound I just heard. Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that's left is to press ever onward. to uh, get into the groove of some gameplay here. The low gravity in this place is pretty cool. How oh, incredible. What is this place? My body feels light as a feather. We gotta focus on locating the sludge. It's split up for the time being. It's a good idea. For another bubble, huh? Anything you can do to speed this up, I wonder? right now. I thought of buying some. Yeah, that ain't it. You side on over there, it looks like, but... Oh no, that's a, uh, what's the, what do you call it, uh, Zonai. Alright, and because I shouldn't be needing any more shrines for the sake of this Let's Play, all I'm gonna do is discover that shrine and not complete it. As far as this Let's Play goes...
gonna take out this dude in case he has uh, arrows. Okay. Basically, at the end here of this segment, I'm jumping in the sky, one more, one more little piece up ahead here. And again, I'm gonna take out these dudes in hopes of some arrows. Ooh, that was a really slow fall. Oh, I saw that coming. I saw the spear in his hand. Oh, brother. Where's he gonna put me at the shrine? I didn't think that guy dropped any arrows, even the archer, so I'm gonna skip them this time. Yeah. Uh, but what if the chest has some? I'll fight him. I'll fight him. Oh, he just dropped an arrow. Okay. Oh, he did have arrows. Gotta upgrade my uh what do you call it? 
my battery. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Hey, side on. Sorry. I wanted that guy's loot. Done and done. Let's keep pushing forward, Link. Okay. The guy's loot is still here. Is that a waterfall to climb up? Darn it. From what I can tell, all this sludge is flowing from the ruins above. In other words, if there's a source for the sludge somewhere, it must be. Link, once you're amply prepared, let's dive in. Let's go. Right, the time has come. Off we go. Spring of High Rule. Link over here. I know, side on. He, want, he needs me to talk to him. He needs me to talk to him. How magnificent to think that such a structure is floating above Zora's domain. Get a grip, Sidon. I was just about to touch the terminal that you're, uh, you know, that you're talking about here. Being the source of the sludge. Hmm? Does Sidon? That is it. Link, do you see it? If we could make use of that water. All right, show me the cutscene so I can start speed running this, this temple. Seems it didn't work. We saw it too. The mechanism did have an effect. There's just not enough water. Hmm? That sound again. Cherished kin. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. Heed my words. It happened again. Let's get to work, Link. Yep. All right. Yeah, like forty-nine thirty is when when I'm getting going. Let's see how long it takes. All the legwork just to get here. I forgot about fighting these guys. Oh my good lord. Wow. 
guy's not messing around, not one bit. I forgot to make food as well before I came here. Gonna need some more armor upgrades soon, but I'm also using this. Power side on. Dropping. Oops. Yeah. 
Come on, man. Get attached. gun. on that I didn't get the bow oh and I'm out of a sword as well supposedly all right that's all of them The domain is surely safe now. Huh? Not good. Makdorak. This strange creature must be responsible. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the sludge is 
spawn me in the sludge. Very nice. Oh, I ran away. Time for this copy and paste cutscene to play again. Lamest part about this game, same cutscene every time. cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes. And it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora lived long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The Kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The Demon King appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the New Kingdom's time short. But Ravu, the first King of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Ravu entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. 
some time later. Another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. It's my destiny to fight by your side. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. I am the Sage of Water. Behold, this is my new power. Ah! Here, Link, your hand. Sidon, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We'll partner up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. All right, I'm going to farm the upgrades for the armor, which was the Hinox guts and then the teeth, I believe. All right, there's even more to come, even more cutscenes for this one. Oh. 
I just want to show where I'm going to farm the Hinox. I'll try to do it quick. Welcome back. I think have you seen the sludge vanished? Thanks to your courage, Sora's has made us safe once again. No words could express our gratitude. From the bottom of our heart, thank you. And Sidon, you certainly played a key role to save the domain. I've always believed in you. Now you've unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Father, this is so sudden. No, it seems only that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. My son, it's time you ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand, and as one leads Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? Thank you, father. I will not let you down, I swear it. That's the spirit, my boy. Now accept your place upon, upon the throne. The finest swordsman in high rule shall bear witness to this momentous occasion. Silence, everyone. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, the exalted Dorafin. From this moment on, I shall be king of the Zora. At this same precious moment, I ask that you also open your hearts to your new queen, my beloved Yona. The sludge threatens us no more. We are once again free to swim through the crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dearest King Sidon and our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who call the Domain home. I'm so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of this Domain. However, that does not mean that all matters have been resolved. Right you are, my love, so as long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We shall not allow that. It's now time for the Zora to help Link. Everyone, I ask that you lend him your strength. Doing just that shall be the first task that I and my partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. First things first. About Zelda, the vision I had, the Sage of Time, the resemblance is uncanny. As for the Zelda who appeared in the domain and attacked father, could it be that the princess we saw in my ancestors there and the one we saw are not one and the same? Questions upon questions. As I've ascended the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being able to uncompany you. We should continue gathering information about Zelda. Whatever comes to pass, we will always be connected. Vow of the Sage of Water unlocked. Which I will be promptly disabling. Oh, shoot. Okay, the place I wanted to go and farm those Hinox is over here. There's a guy at this horse stable right here. He has a quest saying that there's three Hinox in each of these little caves by these lakes over here so yeah i don't know if i'll do that on video i guess we'll see what happens but that's it for this one likes comments always appreciated till next time bye for now